Competitive gaming is in extreme danger. It seems like every new game nowadays that gets released has some type of ranked mode in it to show off your skills. Yeah, this is cool and all, but you know, I don't have any skills. Um, wait, uh, like I was saying, uh, this is cool and all, but if there's competition, there's cheaters. The issue grows even more since almost every developer doesn't understand how to properly protect their games or software. Don't don't Anything they do, they don't know how to protect it against exploitation and cheats. But those basic exploitations could pale in comparison to AI based cheats. Most developers do not stay up to date to the latest and greatest in AI technology. But let me tell you that the advances that are out there combo that with the more powerful consumer GPUs that are getting released every single day and the better gaming space is gonna go bye bye. I'm talking like every single game, CSGO, Tarkov, Fortnite, even Roblox. I, I know it's terrible. They're all in danger from being ruined by AI forever. Well, all of those except for Valorant. Riot's dev team is actually pretty ahead of the curve, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to that later. Now, how do I prove to you this danger is real? Well, I'm gonna make an AI aimbot. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. I'm gonna show you that it's completely undetectable and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to develop. You can learn from this code and hey, share this with your local game dev so they understand what's going on and they can patch their games for it. That's the whole point of this video. The game is better start getting patched. Now, before we get to that, don't go to college, all right? We're a nonprofit organization that certifies and educates people in the computer science realm. Most colleges are purely a cash grab and they offer you a subpar education, especially if you're trying to become a programmer. There are countless times where companies that I've belonged to have hired people straight out of college. They just don't know what, what the they're doing, all right? Instead, become a certified developer through Rootkit. Our guides are free and posted online on our GitHub if you wanna teach yourself, or if you'd rather have someone teach you, you can enroll in our apprenticeship program and we'll teach you personally. It's about 12 months to complete, but it, most of it is uh, at your own pace, so you could finish a lot faster. We teach you everything you would learn in a computer science degree and more. Everything that actually companies want you to have when they're looking for entry-level devs. For more information, join our Discord or check our website, rootkit.org. To first start out making this AI aimbot, let's load up a competitor shooter like CSGO and take a look at what we see in game. Now let's start determining how we can make this aimbot. Okay, so there's a humanoid character here and we see that we need to aim and fire. Seems simple enough, all right. Next question, how do we make it undetectable? Do you know? Might be like a uh, screen recording or something. With the rise of Twitch, live capturing of game footage is a pretty normal thing that most computers can perform without any special equipment like an Elgato device. I barely use that thing. Waste of money. Okay, let's start writing some Python code and make a basic video game screen capturing application. Look at that, mm, beautiful. Also, I've added a live view of the screen recording in order for us to see what the program sees. Next, we have to simply add a AI system to detect humanoid characters in our screen recording. So let's go write this up from scratch. Hell no, I'm just kidding. So AI is a very broad term that's now typically only really used for marketing and clickbait reasons. There's a subcategory of AI called machine learning, also referred to as ML. You actually interact with ML every single day of your life. The YouTube recommendation system, TikTok and Snapchat filters, and text recognition in your photos are a few examples of these ML systems. Even though the term machine learning sounds very sophisticated, machine learning is actually very easy for people to use. The only issue with machine learning is it typically requires a large amount of data in order to produce intelligent and accurate models. The term model in machine learning refers to a machine learning neural network that has been trained on data. Data is power. That is why companies like Google and Meta collect large troves of information about you at all times. Your data allows them to produce insanely powerful machine learning models. In this dev news video we released, we actually covered the production of one of the world's largest supercomputers, and it's owned by Meta. They use it to train new amazing machine learning models off the data you gave them. Hey, cheers to you. Are you feeling a little uncomfortable about that? It's all right, just, just riddle me this if you want. What country performs mass surveillance 
collects massive amounts of data of all its citizens and the citizens have little to no human rights. Did you say China? China. If data is power and data is needed to make the best machine learning applications, then China's massive monitoring systems will inevitably give them the most sophisticated machine learning programs in the world. And that's what keeps me up at night. New world order. That's all I gotta say. Um, but let's get back to the AI aimbot. We're getting off track here. We need a machine learning model which detects humanoid objects in photos. Well, this problem is actually way easier to solve than you think. So when I first tackled this, I used Facebook's Detectron 2 object detection model, but there were a couple issues that came up. Uh, it was really difficult for users to set up and it, it was pretty slow, all right? Probably because there was only one massive server side type model, but I found a fix. I ended up switching to YOLO V5, which is made by Ultralytics, a US company based in California that works with the Department of Defense. Oh yeah, that's how you know it's probably kind of good-ish, meh. Government doesn't know what they're doing, all right? <laughs> YOLO V5 is short for You Only Look Once, version five, I know. Pretty hard to figure out that last part, version five, V5, not intuitive at all. This is in reference to how the underlying machine learning code works, but you don't need to understand that at all. Don't worry, I don't really either, all right? This model runs way faster than Detectron and is way easier to set up for normal users. Also, I'll add visual feedback in our screen recorder so we can see what the model finds visually. Nice. We can now see the models working and it's able to identify humanoid characters along with a bunch of other stuff. We're just about done with this AI auto aim program. We just need to start moving the mouse around. For mouse movement, there are several packages in Python we can use, but most of them add some overhead that slows down rapid succession of mouse movements. So instead, we'll need to directly use the Windows API calls to move the mouse. But before moving the mouse, we need to add some keylogger functionality to this line. This will automatically quit the application at any time if we press the Q key. If we didn't have this and the program was moving the mouse everywhere, well, good luck closing the application. You don't need a college degree to become a great programmer, all right? Use our nonprofit instead for your education. I know this looks pretty complicated to some of you guys, but I promise it's all look and no bite. If you want a more in-depth rundown of this code, become a Patreon supporter today of Rootkit. I'll be giving free breakdown courses in our Discord server to all of our Patreon supporters. Finally, let's run this bad boy. And look at that works like a charm. This will work in any game with humanoid characters. This is an issue that people need to be aware of. As AI systems continue to develop and more powerful consumer hardware comes to market, the rise of AI visual only cheats will only become more prevalent. The creation of Riot Games rootkit based anti-cheat system is actually pretty revolutionary. If you try to run this aimbot in Valorant, you'll find that the mouse movements no longer happen. Sure, you can still do the screen recording and it still identifies stuff, but if you can't move the mouse, it defeats the whole purpose. This is because they're using a rootkit that stops software-based movements from happening. There are ways to get around this, but that's a video for another day. But please keep in mind that Rootkit does not condone cheating. This is simply for education purposes and helping squash the threat before it's actually mainstream. But wait, are you a developer? Yeah, you. Are you a developer? Rootkit is a community-driven nonprofit. If you have something that you want to show off and teach people about, it is up on Discord and we'll pay to have your content produced. If you have any questions about this bot, our nonprofit, or an idea for a future video, join our Discord community and let us know. We'll see y'all on the next video. I'm gonna burp. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, uh.